Hello and welcome to this Esri Ireland tutorial where I will be showing you how you can make a field collection survey in Survey123. I will be showing you how you can build the survey by adding questions, how to share the survey and how to analyse the results. To open Survey123, first sign in to your ArcGIS online account, then navigate to the waffle in the top right hand corner of the page. From here, select Survey123. Click on New Survey in the top left corner to create a new survey and select Blank Survey using the Web Designer. When the design page opens, first give your survey a title and then you can give it a name. and we can center the name of the survey. If you would like, you can add a description of what the survey will be doing. And we can um, center this and make it bold if we like as well. And save all our work. Now we can begin building our survey. To add questions, we click add, and we can simply click and drag a question into our survey. There are many different types of questions that we can add, and they are listed under different categories. The next question I'm going to add is a single select choice question. And to either add or remove a choice option, you can click the plus and the minus and I'm going to select the horizontal appearance and save my work. Next, I'm going to select a multiple select question. And put in my options. And I'm going to allow uh, the other option. I have just added another question. If you came by car, how many people were dropped at school? And it is a number type question. I have selected that it must only be an integer. I want this question to only appear if the person has selected car. To do this, I go down to the behavior section and I select set rule beside visible. From here, I can select how did you get to school is and I select car and select OK. This means that this question will only appear if the person has selected car as their method of transport. My next question will be another single select question, asking people how long did it? I have finished adding in all my options for this question and I'm going to add another single select question. And again, selecting the minus button to remove that third option. My next question, I only want to appear if the person has selected yes for could your commute be improved? I'm going to drag in my multi-line text question and label it, if yes, please explain.
under behavior, I go to uh, set rule. And now this question will only appear if the person has selected yes. My last question will be asking the person where they are based so that we can get a good idea of how far they are traveling from. I'm going to select the map under the location questions and give it a label. I can configure this question to make it a little bit easier for the person to find where they are. So I'm going to zoom into Ireland. And I'm going to select center of the map extent specified above. And I'm going to save that. The last thing to mention here is that you can make a question required, which means that the person is not allowed to skip this question. It will appear with a little red star when that is switched on. Once you are happy with your survey, you can click save and then publish. Click publish again. And it will just take a minute or two uh, for this to run. My survey has been successfully published. Now if I go up to the top here I can go to the collaborate tab and I can share my survey. I have a link here that I can copy. Um, I can also click this to copy the URL and I can open the survey in a new tab. Down here I can select who is allowed to submit to the survey. I can select everyone, uh, only people from my organization or with specific groups. So you can make a group for specific classes um, or any relevant groups. I'm going to share this with the public and we can have a look at what it looks like in the browser. To fill it in, it's very straightforward and easy. And we can see our, um, our question here has only appeared when I selected car. If I select cycle, um, it disappears. And to choose where I am, I select, uh, I hold down the control button and I can zoom in to my area and submit. I'm going to fill this survey in a few times and then we can have a look at how to analyze the results. I have filled in my survey a few times and so now I can analyze the results. If I go to the analyze tab here at the top, I will be shown um, a few different graphs to represent the data for uh, the results of each question. Under the data tab, I am able to see the spreadsheet, the table of all the data that has been gathered, and I can export it as a CSV or an Excel file or a shapefile um, if I would like. To find the results of your survey, um, if we just navigate to content, first we can see that all of the relevant files related to the survey are here at the top. And there is also a folder created to the left here. And I'll be able to find my form, the results, the feature layer of the form itself, and a feature layer. If we open the results in Map Viewer, we will be able to see all the points that have been added from the survey. Here are the results from my survey. I can click on a point 
and I can see how they responded to the survey. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you found this video insightful. If you did, please do give this video a like and do subscribe to the Esri Ireland channel.